one of my other subscribers has asked about connecting batteries in parallel and series and the effect that that has on things like the voltage and the current. The voltage tends to be easier to understand but I thought I'd put a little bit of a video together to explain about the current. This is a little uh, lead that I've made up here. This is actually one that allows you to connect two 3S batteries together to make them appear and operate as one 6S battery. I originally made this lead so I could charge two 3S batteries using the 6S setting on my charger, but it actually is a physical illustration of the points we'll go through in the next five minutes. So what we'll do in this video is we'll talk about the two common ways that you can connect batteries up. This isn't particular to LiPo batteries for RC, this is generic to all battery technologies. So it could be you know, the batteries that you have in your car or your bike, um, it works exactly the same. And connecting in parallel and series, the connections are different and the results are very different too. So the first one we'll talk about is our friend parallel. So here we have a little diagram showing two little simple batteries similar to the ones we've just looked at. Each of them are 3S, so they have about 12.4 volts when they're fully charged. If you haven't um, watched my other video around LiPo Battery 101, an introduction and covering the basics, if any of the stuff I'm talking about doesn't make sense, if you watch that video, it'll kind of fill in the blanks for you. But it's a 3S battery with 12.4 volts with 2000 milliamp hours and 10C. So what that means is that if I put a multimeter on the output of that battery, I could see 12.4 volts and I could safely pull 20 amps or 10 times 2000 milliamp hours, which is 20 amps. And we've got two of these together. Now, if we connect them up in parallel, which looks like this, which isn't like the lead that we've just seen, what we're doing is we're collecting, collecting both the positive leads together and both the negative leads together and putting them into a new connector. Now, because we're connecting the positives together and the negatives together, the voltage on the output will be exactly the same as the rest. It'll be 12.4 volts. But we will be able to pull twice the power because the amps, you can think of it like in, in the circuit. It's like somebody on, on a BMX going around a track. And we actually have two tracks running around here, one through the blower battery pulling 20 amps and one through the upper battery pulling 20 amps. So 20 plus 20 is 40 amps. So that means that we can pull out of this system twice the amount of current, but it will operate at the same amount of voltage. Now, if we connect them in series, like the cable that we've just seen, again, we'll use exactly the same two batteries, both 12.4 volts, both capable of pulling or producing 20 amps safely. If we connect them up in the way that we saw with that cable that we just looked at, then actually what we're doing here is we're connecting the positive of the bottom battery to the negative of the top battery and creating a 6S LiPo. So the way that these batteries work is they connect cells very similar to this back to back and all we're doing is then we're connecting one lot of three cells to the back of another lot of three cells and it looks like a 6S or 6 cell battery. Now that means that of course because we've connected them in series and because we hear about this in the hobby all the time, it means that rather than having 12.4 volts at the output, we'll have 24.8 volts, a 6S battery pack in essence. But this time we can only still pull 20 amps. The reason being is if we think about that BMX bike on that track, we actually only have one track. If you trace it with me, it kind of starts at the positive lead on the output and it goes up to the top into the first battery, out of that black lead on the first battery, down through the little shortcut, in through the positive lead of the bottom battery and out through the black lead of the bottom battery back to the output. So that 20 amps that we're pulling is actually flowing through both batteries and that is the maximum current that both of those batteries can handle. So in summary, that's the big difference. If you put two batteries together in series, you double the voltage but you keep the power in terms of the current the same. If you connect them in parallel, then you keep the voltage the same 
but you double the current available. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe and happy flying.